Do you ever feel that while your restaurant is running well, there is something that you can't quite figure out what's going on beneath the surface? Well, sit down for this one because we're about to get a little savage. And welcome to the Restaurant Coach Podcast. It is the Cure for the Common Restaurant. I'm Donald Burns, the Restaurant Coach, author of the Your Restaurant Sucks Trilogy, Savage Restaurant Success, and the creator of the TRC Method. In the savage arena of the restaurant business, we don't tip around with the truth. We have to face it head on. We're already establishing authenticity is our battle cried. If you read my book, Savage Restaurant Success. But here's the thing. Authenticity isn't just about wearing your scars and flaws like a badge of honor in front of others. It's also about confronting that gnawing reality within. Those raw truths that we'd rather bury beneath the relentless pace of this industry. So let's get one thing straight. We're not here to sugarcoat stuff. We're here to dive headfirst into the turbulent sea of emotions because I'm telling you, it's that raw, tempestuous water that we're going to find our power, our purpose, and our connection to the world. And when I say emotions, I mean all of them, the dark ones and the heavy ones and the light ones and the joyful ones. Your feelings are the access point to something bigger than yourself, something divine. Because if you're not honest about them, if you don't confront them, then transformation will remain an elusive mirage, forever dancing just out of your reach. So let's talk about the fuel to spiritual creation, how to ignite that business inferno. So in the relentless realm of restaurants, I'm telling you, emotions just aren't transient feelings. They are the very blood that courses through your veins every single day. They're not just bystanders, they are the drill sergeants that whip us into shape. They are the furnace where our business metal is forged. In this gritty world of cutthroat competition, most of just aren't passengers, they are the unruly drivers, the turbo boosters for our actions, and the undercover assets behind our bottom line. So prepare for some tough love as we peel back the glossy veneer of business and expose the raw, unfiltered truth. Dark feelings, you know, those ones, frustration, anger, despair, stress. Now these aren't your garden variety emotions, they are the sledgehammers of the business battleground. We're talking about the kind of frustration that's going to kick your apathy to the curb. Anger that's going to simmer hotter than a kitchen stove at a lunch rush. And despair that bursts an unquestionable thirst for success. And also that stress that sharpens your business survival instincts. Here's the thing. Don't even think about dodging or sugarcoating these feelings. Write this down. They're not your adversaries. They're your business battle-hardened generals. Think of them as your personal crucible where you're forged into an entrepreneur, a restaurateur who can endure the hardest of restaurant winners. Confronting these emotions head on is what separates the business titans from the Tibbin clock punchers. It, I'm telling you, these intense emotions, when you dig into them, you're gonna find the raw, unfiltered fuel for crafting a restaurant masterpiece that is gonna make your competition tremble like a line cook on their first night in a Michelin starred restaurant. All right, let's flip it around to those light feelings, satisfaction, joy, confidence, elation, gratitude, and inspiration. These are the business emotions that can send you rocketing to restaurateur stratospheres. They might not wield the same sledgehammer force as their darker cousins, but they possess their own unique dynamic power. Remember, satisfaction is your North Star guiding you through the maze of business challenges. Joy is that sweet nectar that infuses life into every business move you make. Confidence is the razor sharp blade that slices through self-doubt. Elation is the rocket fuel that propels you past obstacles. Gratitude is your secret weapon against entitlement. And inspiration is the relentless drumbeat that sets your restaurant's soul on fire. To the warrior restaurateurs who dare to confront the blaze of emotions in their business inferno, remember this. In the furnace of your feelings lies the crucible where success is cast, where your business destiny is forged, and where the sparks of your restaurant owner journey truly ignite. Don't shy away from the heat. Embrace it because in that crucible, you'll discover the fire that can consume the competition and leave you standing as the last chef, the last warrior, or the last restaurant titan in the scorching aftermath. All right, let's cut the crap and dive into a truth that's gonna ruffle some feathers. We live in a world obsessed with facts. I mean, it's all about the data, numbers, oh, that cold, hard evidence. But here's the brutal reality check. A life built solely on facts is about as exciting as watching paint dry. Facts are the foundation of a building for sure. I mean, you need them. 
but you wouldn't want to just live in the damn basement, would you? So that's where feelings come in. You need them. You must have them. You must embrace them. Feelings are the raging storms, the gentle breezes that fill your sails of your existence. They're actually what makes life a roller coaster instead of a PowerPoint presentation. And y'all know how we hate PowerPoint presentations. Think of it this way. A life driven solely by facts is like being stuck on a ship with no wind. I mean, you're just kind of bobbing up and down in the vast ocean, going nowhere, and bored out of your freaking mind. Who the hell wants that? Feelings, on the other hand, ooh, they're the winds of change. They add color, zest, and meaning to your existence. They're the reason you get out of bed in the morning, chase your dreams, fall in love, and even throw a few punches when life gets a little feisty. Now, see, it's not facts versus feeling. It's a dynamic dance between them that brings life to the next level. It's like a symphony where facts provide the rhythm and feelings deliver the melody. Here's the thing, when they sync up, that's when you're firing at all cylinders, living life like a savage. So don't be that person who's stuck in the basement of facts, afraid to venture into the exhilarating chaos of feelings. You gotta embrace them, you gotta own them, you gotta let them steer your ship through the turbulent waters of existence. That is how you activate the full-blown, unapologetic human experience exactly as the universe intended. Remember, there is strength in vulnerability. So let's get this straight right here, right now. In the dog-eat-dog -dog world of restaurants, there is this toxic idea floating around that being a cold, emotionless robot is the way to go. They say emotions are a sign of weakness, like you're supposed to check your humanity at the damn door. Well, let me tell you, that's a load of bullshit with a capital B. In this cutthroat industry, the restaurant world, being in touch with your feelings is like strapping on a suit of armor. I mean, come on, it takes guts. I mean, real balls to face your emotions head on. We're talking about acknowledging that, yeah, sometimes this shit is tough, but sometimes it's downright soul crushing too. And here's the deal. Embracing your feelings isn't just a sign of strength. It's a goddamn testament to it. It's like flexing those emotional muscles, showing the world that you're not afraid of the whirlwind inside your chest. It's like saying, yeah, I feel it all, every high, every low, because that's what makes me human. And that is what gives me the edge. I mean, this industry, it will chew you up and spit you out if you let it. But the savages, oh, the real warriors in this game, they don't shy away from the tempest of their emotions. They dive right in, let those feelings wash over them like a tidal wave, and they come out stronger on the other side. Your feelings, my friend, they are what keep you grounded when the storm hits. They are your North Star, guiding you through the darkest nights and the fiercest battles. So don't you dare let anyone tell you that emotions have no place in the restaurant business. Embrace them, confront them, let them be your driving force. In this raw, unfiltered embrace of your humanity, you're gonna find not just the power to endure, but the unshakable strength to truly thrive. And this industry is one that demands nothing less than your authentic feeling self. That is the real secret to restaurant success. Hey, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button before you leave. And please share this video with someone that you feel could really use this message. Now, for those of you that really want to get on the fast path to forexing their profits and possibly get your life back from your restaurant, then grab a seat at my free two hour TRC method masterclass. This is a live training, live, that means no replays. Just head over to restaurantcoachmasterclass.com to grab your seat.